Hey, welcome to the Rusty Dusty Picker channel. Um, getting ready to embark on another project. Um, so let's jump right in. Uh, as you may know, this is the place where we make uh, new creations out of uh, found items, unwanted items, thrift store items, garage sale items, estate sale items, and such. And this is a, a, thrift, a thrift sale find I, I picked up. As you can see, probably it's $3.99 it says there, if you can see that. Um, so I gladly paid that because I haven't seen anything like this and I don't know exactly what it is, but it's, it's a wall hanging, it's blank, it's a wall hanging deal and it's also $3.99 back here. So that's, that's consistent. Anyway, yeah, it would be just simply be hung on a wall and I, I do not have any idea what the appeal is to this piece unless you buy multiple of them, um, or whatever. Maybe it's, it's for commercial use. Um. Either way, I'm going to make a um, an art project out of it. Probably going to be a, um, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe a beachy theme. So the first thing that occurs to me to do is probably just masking tape off and pinstripe this, meaning um, a, a black stripe around it, just to frame the piece a little bit, just give it a little bit more, um, just to solidify it as something more than just this metallic, whatever you want to call it. So let me tape it off and we'll move along. All right, so that's that's just what we're doing. Um, just adding some definition to this piece. It's essentially sort of like I was saying, it's a, a, a blank canvas uh, for all intents and purposes as it was. So this is kind of kind of frame it in. Give us a little, like I said, definition, framing. Make it something completely different than what it was, which was completely plain Jane, hang on the wall, silver something. I should probably look it up and figure out what the hell I'm talking about. But, um, so yeah, so what we can do is, as you'll see, there'll be, there'll be gaps here be, between the, uh, between the stripes. And I will sometimes fill those in and sometimes I will leave it like that. This time I'm guessing I'm going to complete the framing process. So. It was easy because I'm, I'm using one inch tape so it was very easy just to do one inch and then come in and then do the border underneath that. So there, there's our frame. So my next step now is to get to work and figure out what the heck I'm going to put in here. So I'll do that, and I'll also decide whether or not I'm going to connect these lines. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, but we're going to have to find out. Stand by. All right, so check this out. Um, here comes another curveball, and if you've watched enough of these videos, you know I, I do this on the fly. I, I rarely have a, a game plan other than to kind of unpack some of the stuff, these small piles of things that I, I accumulate, and... Um, so check this out, what I found. We're going in a completely different direction. This is a piece that looks like it actually was meant to go with this. This is a, it looks like a reproduction of what would be a, a weather vane, I'm thinking. However, it's very, it's not, um, it's not industrially made. It's, it's thin. So it's just sort of a, a kind of a neat, uh, a neat uh, hunting dog, curious dog uh, type of a deal. So I think I'm gonna going to uh, dispense with everything else I was thinking and attach this onto here, and then come up with a a word or two that would be appropriate for the piece. And I mean, it could be as simple as as the word home, even. Um, and then uh, be done with it. Um, not out of laziness, just, it just seems right. It seems like it would be cool. And then you have a very simple, pseudo elegant piece. So I'm gonna do that. So let me, let me, um, I'm, I'm gonna glue this on with an epoxy, let that dry, and then uh, do a little, uh, little, little bit of a thought process on, on what I'm gonna stencil down here, but, um, what the heck? Let's do it. It'll be uh, quick and easy, and um, 
should come out pretty cool. All right. So, I mean, honestly, um, I, very often I'll say, you know, just keep it simple and it usually works out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to jump right in here. Even while this is drying, I've got it weighted down um, so that the uh, glue will affix to whatever this thing is. Anyway, let's just let's just put the word home on here and call it a day. I mean, there's no really no reason to complicate this thing. And um, so I'll just get started with that. Uh, and I did want to do it in black so it, it matches. It's going to be a black and white and silver, the whole sign, just the way it is. This particular paint that I chose is a, it's called Black Tie which I kind of like. It's a super black, but also sort of a, has a gloss to it. So it'll stand out. So if I don't get too sloppy with it, this can go pretty quickly. So I'm not sure if we're gonna have a problem with this metallic surface taking the paint. But I also am applying it liberally. So let's take a look. Okay, I'll take it. As you can see, I did get a little bit of an over, over paint. You just use the magic eraser God gave us, that thumb. And let's do the O. I'm just guessing on the spacing on this. It's not perfect. Um... This piece that I glued on isn't perfect either, but um, that's really not the goal. One of a kind stuff. Just to show what can be made from just really oddball stuff that you, you can, you know, you can combine together and get a halfway decent result. And more times than not, people appreciate it. And I get to have fun doing it, so. That's that. Let's see here. All right. All right. Everybody's still in frame. Everybody hanging in there. I'll keep the camera running because this is going to be a short video. I usually don't show all of the letters being stenciled on but I'm, I'm gonna take a uh, take a different approach and then when I'm done with this E I will let that dry probably overnight and then let this also let the epoxy dry overnight and then after the guitar smack that you'll hear, we will spray it. I certainly have to spray these. So, and I'm glad I'm glad I used this paint because these are these um, the letters for home are popping nicely. It's it's very bold, which is what we wanted, and also matches. Oops. All right. All right, so we're done with the with the wording. You can see. And we'll be back. Well, we're back. And it couldn't have been more simple as I mentioned. Um our directional dog here is now attached completely um i even did a a spray of everything that's painted i did not spray this uh it's going to be an indoor piece i'm sure we're on a if not uh covered somewhere on a patio or entranceway but um yeah man we're done so couldn't be happier with it like i said it, it couldn't have been more simple it looks like it was meant to go together um and so we'll leave it just like this no need to 
add anything to hang it. It already came with the uh, requisite hanging mechanisms. Mechanisms, if that's the word. Um, so we'll just leave it, uh, leave it the way it is. I really appreciate you watching this video and all of the videos. And if you like this type of stuff, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, taking ads out on Craigslist, whatever you're into. Um, anyway, we'll see you soon. Peace. Thank you.